Another debut for the pop star. We're giving you a first look as she appears on the cover wow. of a yeah. popular, I know I didn't even Please. recognize her, Kate. Popular know. men's magazine. It's for Maxim's annual hot list issue. Is this what issue. you call a do-over? <laughs> but the nation's biggest men's magazine is doing away with those sexy covers of women in bikinis as it turns the page to a new era. And why is that? Because Kate Lanfear is in the big chair. She's Maxim's editor in chief. Mm -hmm. Good morning. You must have been doing the hula last night at the Billboard Awards because she cleaned up and you're thinking she she's slept, on her cover. She stole the show. She's yeah. on her cover. And then I had bad blood on repeat play. You know, <laughs> couldn't I couldn't stop watching the video. It's like a pow powerhouse video with so many inspiring women. But to Charlie's point, I didn't recognize her either. It is a very different look for Mac Maxim magazine. I hear that you're saying that subtle is a new sexy. True? I, I mean, I think sexy is, is really hard to define. You know, it's a bit tricky. It's unpredictable. It's challenging. Um, and we want, we want the magazine to reflect that. Mm -hmm. You know, it's been 20 years uh, since Maxim launched. And it was just time for it to evolve and reflect the times we were living in. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is the number one men's magazine, right? It is, absolutely. Why, why does it need to evolve between pictures of women in bikinis on its cover? I, th I think we're just experimenting um, mm -hmm. with, how, with the evolution. But I think um, we live in a really different world than we lived in 20 years ago. And celebrating sexiness is is at the essence of the brand we're not going to change that but I think we can experiment with how we how we show sexiness yeah. um, I think it's best evidence in one of my covers you know it's really close tight crop where really it was just about her eyes sexiness can be someone's laugh it can be someone's uh, you know the look in their eyes so I can't we're exploring hear the that on the page though <laughs> Kate, when I'm looking at the picture I can't tell how she laughs and I think for a lot of people people will still like seeing hot women on the covers. Are you worried about losing some of your core, or are you bringing them along? We're bringing them along. It's been interesting. Um, since, since the rebrand, we uh, invited readers to, do, to participate in an online survey, and 70%, just shy of 70%, 69% say they prefer the redesign. Yeah. Good. I, see, I think that's Good. sexy. I do very, too. very sexy. Absolutely. Because it also, it's Absolutely. smart, it's questioning, it's alluring in a sense of, uh, it's almost like she's listening to what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Well, and like you say, that is sexy. Also, you know, our audience is driven, smart, confident, and so they're attracted to women who are just as driven, smart, confident. Mm. But, but let's so, talk about what, you, coming from a women's magazine background to be the head of the most popular man's magazine. What was it like when you walked into the newsroom? How did this come about that you were there? Such an unlikely choice, I think, for a, a lot of people. A very unlikely choice, yeah. indeed. Um, I think they, they were starting in a new direction. The evolution had started. They were compiling a great team. The players were sort of already, already there um, when I was approached for the job. And I think, you know, it was pretty visionary yeah. approaching me yeah. um, for the position. Yeah. And it really showed their commitment to change. But a good attitude is a good attitude, yeah. regardless. Yeah. That's yes. true. Kate. Transcends gender, yeah, for that, sure. That Congratulations, Kate true. Lampere. Thanks. All right, Thanks. Maxim's Hot List hits newsstands May 27th. You so You're much. watching Thank CBS you. This Morning. We'll be right back.